You guys have probably already seen the vicious attack on Markeith Morris by Nikola Jokic last night in the Nuggets and Heat game. Nikola Jokic kicked out the game. Markeith Morris kicked out the game. Both Morris brothers had something to say after the game. And you know what? I agree with both of them. There's no room in the league for plays like this. Hey, Coach Vogel said I put him in the starting lineup because he had not played that many minutes and he deserved it. And this is going to be... Oh, look out! Absolutely zero excuse to make plays like this. A contact underneath the rim with Ananobi and Morris and some shoving between those two. Wow. The league has got to do something about these plays. Air kick, Schofield for three. Bertans goes flying. Bertans gets... Do, no NBA fans want to see this. No NBA fans want to see plays this bad. The pressure was on him to defend them. Not only with the ball, without the ball and did a good job every single time. People can get hurt by plays like this. People can't get hurt by plays like this. And people who make plays like this should be kicked out the league. Oh. In all seriousness, I am pretty surprised at the reception we've seen. It seems like most people are on Nikola Jokic's side, and I think that speaks volumes to where pe how people feel about the Morris twins at this stage in their career, right? Both Markeith, both Marcus Morris ha have built a reputation in recent years as being, dare I say it, dirty ass players. And as a Mavericks fan, who spent an entire playoff series, a six-game series in the bubble uh, two seasons ago, watching Marcus Morris trying to murder Luka Doncic every chance that he got. I feel zero sympathy towards Markeith Morris. Is this a dangerous play by Nikola Jokic? 100%. And I do think Nikola Jokic probably should face a suspension because while Markeith Morris ended up being fine, I didn't want to be the guy. I think most of us are thinking, thinking it in the back of our head when the stretcher came out and Markeith Morris was rolling around that, all right, Markeith Morris is definitely fucking hamming this shit up. Ultimately, I, I do think that he did, right? I, I think that he's going to be fine. This type of play is dangerous. Watching someone's neck bend back like that, it, it is dangerous. And, and that could lead to some pretty scary shit, some pretty scary injuries. But, you know, this play by Markeith Morris, I mean, I mean, this is an easy way to crack a rib a very easy way to crack a rib break a rib this is i don't know if i would say just as dirty but it's dirty as well and, and markeith morris knows that shit heat fans know that shit players in the heat organization know that eric spolstra knows that i i know eric spolstra has to come out and defend his team in the post game comments so i don't really care what eric spolstra did but like <laughs> jimmy butler i mean come on man Th this whole shtick is really getting old I i'm gonna be a thousand percent honest with you man i don't know how anybody can watch the heat and not think this whole shtick the heat culture we're just bu we're built different man we're fucking built differently but like jimmy butler yelling at Jokic. <laughs> While he was just sitting on the bench. To be fair, there are, there is some speculation that Jimmy Butler wasn't yelling at Nicole Jokic. He was yelling at someone else. But even then, like this all just rings so hollow. When you were you were like standing in the huddle right there, and, and ultimately did nothing. Now, in Jimmy's defense, there are angles where you could see that his back was turned to the play, so he might not have saw what happened originally. But still, it's not really a good look when your whole team was right there by Jokic, and they literally looked like they had piss running down their legs. Like Tyler Hero looked terrified. And then you have this picture after the game of them all swarming outside of the locker room. Room, trying to get in and Kyle Lowry looks horrified like Kyle Lowry looks terrified he fans on Twitter are talking about what Udonis Haslam is going to do the next time these two teams play I swear to God Udonis Haslam is like the Marvel comic book villain who hasn't been in the movies yet and Marvel fans are like oh, I don't know how the Avengers are going to handle this one like anytime Udonis Haslam gets brought up I swear to God I don't I feel like he's not a real person he fans are like just wait till Udonis Haslam checks in and does what Huh? Gets wheeled up and down the floor. Like, what is he going to be doing? And then the Jokic brothers, who have become like thing of legend over the past couple of seasons. Just these two gigantic Serbian goons. I mean, they look like fucking cartoon characters. Creating a Twitter account to tweet directly to Marquise Morris. Like, I'm just imagining that. I'm just imagining these two gigantic human beings like crouched over their fucking. Their, their computers typing in their, their new Twitter username and password. No avatar or anything. And then also reaching out to a Denver beat writer and be like, yo, it was me. I, I said that. I want you to go out and I want you to say, I said that. Just hilarious stuff. I, I do expect the Jokic to get suspended. It'll probably be a game or two if that. Markeith Morris could honestly get suspended too because like I said earlier, it's not like Markeith Morris has a crystal clear reputation across the league. I mean, this is a guy who has built a reputation for himself as being a, a dirty player and he did, uh, he made a dirty play and then Jokic retaliated. It's kind of a shame this all happened because Jokic was incredible last night. I don't know what it is, the, the Nuggets and the Heat, but God, it feels like the Heat just can't beat the Nuggets. And it, it feels like Jokic just always dominates. Bam, I don't know what it is. That battle was fun to watch last night, and they were getting physical. So I do kind of understand, you know, that game had kind of been really, really physical up until that point, and you kind of have to blame the refs a little bit for letting it get to that point, but still, a, a dirty play by Markeith Morris, obviously a, a dirty play by Jokic as well. That's always dangerous hitting somebody in the back like that. But this whole, like, Markeith Morris, I would never hit somebody in the back like that, dude. You, you know we have YouTube. You know YouTube exists. What else is going on around the league? I, I've Lately, in the past couple weeks, I've been feeling like pushing this. Nikola Jokic might be 
the best player on the planet in narratives. Because the way he in, uh, impacts the game offensively, I really don't know if it's matched across the league. But then Steph Curry comes out and drops 50. I mean, this guy's just fucking insane. How do you hit shots like this? How do you hit shots like this over a good defender in Cam Reddish playing good defense? It, it's just like... Uh, what KD went off last night too I mean uh, the league is so good right now man I'm telling you guys the, the NBA product just shits all over the NFL I don't know if you guys saw what happened on Monday Night Football with the officiating and all that just the, the NBA is such a better pro it's just in such a better place right now than the NFL Mavs are also tied for second in the Western Conference yes you heard me correctly the seven and three Dallas Mavericks are tied for second in the Western Conference and nobody is talking about them I see no national media talking about them I see no Dallas Mavericks fans begging for the national media to talk about them usually when a team's doing good and they're not getting talked about you see their fans under every single fucking tweet from the nba from sports center from all these other publications like hey talk about our team more but Mavs fans are just like quietly in the shadows like oh, please don't look please don't look too deep into our team as a mavericks fan i can tell you i have zero idea what this team is like next to no idea their best wins are the celtics and the raptors and, and the three other playoff teams that they've played just absolutely steamrolled them no idea what this team is Carmelo anthony went nuts last night too he's been playing great staples mellow is a real thing dude the lakers could be like one and nine or two and eight if carmelo anthony was not on this team the way that he's been playing i think you could actually make that argument there's some more ben simmons drama i'm gonna be i'm gonna be real with you i don't care at all just wait wake me up when ben simmons gets traded at this point I, i'm tired of hearing about it a philadelphia 76ers fan threw a basketball at, at kimball walker last night why what 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 has Kimball Walker done to the Philadelphia 76ers organization? I have zero idea. So if I'm Ben Simmons, I see Kimball Walker randomly get shit thrown at him. There's no way in hell I'm coming back. Just no way, man. They're going to be throwing fucking rocks. They're going to be throwing snowballs with batteries like back in the good old days. I can't say I blame them. So anyway, that's what I got. I would like, you know, every Tuesday, I kind of want to start doing like a quick little peek around the league to see what's going on. But I just had to talk about this Jokic thing because it's hilarious. I mean, it's what everyone's talking about, man. It's very rare you see a player retaliate like this, especially a, a player of Jokic's stature, right? Uh, a star, legitimate star in the league. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. NBA content all the time. We stream all the time. Make sure you guys are here. Okay, goodbye.